Hi, this morning you are witnessing a very rare occurrence and I'm not talking about us going for a ride in this Lamborghini Pools. I'm talking about I am I have rendered Patrick Teo here speechless <laughs> because I'm gonna do all the talking because I'm gonna introduce you to this guy here Ron Lim Ron and I go back a long way I think almost as long as I know you Patrick but the difference is my relationship with you is we started very strong in the beginning because of our, our businesses and then there was a big gap in between where we just lost touch because we were yeah. both so busy with our own That's life. Right, yeah. But with Ron here, I have been there virtually all his life. We virtually started together in the same building. Yeah. And I watched, <laughs> I watched him live his life, do his stuff, adventures he get into. And I tell you, this guy has so many stories to tell. I can tell you if I would really do it, I can do four full videos with various episodes just to cover the various aspects of his life. The we, first video would be sorry, the first video would be how he sells cars. <laughs> if you know Alpha Romeo Romeo, Alpha Romeo, the whole success of Alpha Romeo I can say is because of this guy. Wow, okay. You know how difficult it is to sell Alpha Romeo? I can imagine. <laughs> this guy kept the Alpha Romeo name burning for so long, all on his own effort. Seriously all on his own effort. I tell you how well he did his job. I'm just gonna give him a story. Long time ago, 30 years ago, one of his friends was traveling to England for holiday. So my friend Ronya asked him, can you do him a favor? Can you go to the main Alpha Romeo, Alpha Romeo showroom in London and get some brochure which is not available in Malaysia? My friend said, okay, I'll just enjoy looking at Alpha Romeo. So he went on his holiday and he went to this showroom. Then he was asking the salesman for some various catalogs. Mm -hmm. And the salesman was curious who is this Chinese guy. I asked him where he's from. He said from Malaysia. And the salesman's eyes lit up. This is a white guy. Yeah. His eyes lit up. Malaysia. He means you you are Ron Lim? <laughs> I imagine this sales Alpha salesman in England knows Ron Lim. He got so excited from his friend for all information. Then he ran into his office, called his manager to come out. Yeah. And the manager was equally excited this guy is legend among alpha romeo sales people all over the world because when you're selling a car like that you get to know legend people who sell cars this difficult brand and the manager went back to his office came back later with a huge box full of catalogs of all the alpha catalog mm. and he told ron Spen, you give this to ron say we're all very very proud of him ask him to keep the fire burning <laughs> this is my friend, I'm so proud of him. There's so many more stories they are coming because I'm not going to let this chance go. Ron is a very, very humble, down-to-earth guy. In fact, I'm making him very, very embarrassed right now. Trying <laughs> not He is. There are so many amazing stories to tell. I will eventually dig them all out of him because this needs to be documented. The video that I want to do with about Ron is concerning his many adventures. You won't believe the scale of his the all driving adventures. This guy loves driving and loves cars so much and he has so many loyal fans and customers who whom he takes for a long, long drive. I tell you how, how long the drives are. This Sunday, Ron and six of his other friends, all owners, or all members of the Alpha Romeo Owners Club gonna start on PJ in their cars and drive for two weeks all the way to Beijing. Wow, <laughs> all the way to Beijing. <laughs> for what? I mean, Ron has done this route so many times, but this time he just couldn't resist joining them because, why? Because of the new uh, super highway from Kuming to Beijing. Oh, Can you imagine that? The super highway it seems that the toll day itself uh, is like thousand world dollars. Yeah. <laughs> So in China, somebody charge you thousand old dollars. What kind of highway are they going to show to you? So this stretch of you highway, to try. Fly, almost like flying over the mountain valleys, things like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right. I tell you, the average average daily distance they're going to drive is from five hundred to nine hundred kilometers per day. Can you imagine this? Is all can this is all cannonball runs? Uh, this. <laughs> all you do is just drive and drive. 
But I think they don't want to drive in the night time because they have so many bad experiences driving in the dark. So they're going to drive, keep all the driving, 9900 kilometers all in one day. Sounds, enough rest. It sounds like my kind of drive, Amel. Oh, yeah. I can yeah. easily join. One of these days, yeah. they're ready for you to join, Ron. And there's so many more, so many of these stories, amazing drive with trucks, Alfa Romeos. What else did you drive? Land over Discovery. Yeah. <laughs> the stories I can tell you, my goodness me. <laughs> they are coming, they are coming. Yes, watch. Video that I'm going to do of Ron, and this could be multi episode, is about his motor racing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether you can tell whether Ron is a good driver, but he has beaten every driver in Malaysia. I can vouch for that. And every Masale or Japanese or whatever regional driver is coming here trying to show off their stuff. Ron has quietly beaten all of them without without question because they drive the same car. They have competition where they drive the identical same car. Everybody change car but drive the same car, and every single time he has beaten everybody. Mm. That <laughs> there's so many more stories to tell. This is a history of Malaysian motorsports, and this guy got in there as a humble, naive young man who didn't know what was going on. Got so excited about it, bought himself a second-hand car with the minimum amount of money, not enough money for another set of tires, so he couldn't even practice. He was practicing <laughs> during the first five laps of the race, just watching watching the other drivers how they brave and then when he felt confident enough he just took them in one after another he, his car and his face loomed very large in everybody's rear wheel mirror until the last few laps he just took them took the checkered flag and the reason he's not so well known is because this type of guys with a huge ego when they get beaten by another guy you don't brag about it you don't even talk about it you just pretend <laughs> nothing is wrong that's why you never hear about Ron's <laughs> escapade and achievement on the racetrack but he has done fantastic things at Patut Tiga Track, even Sepang, right? Yes, yeah, Sepang. Yeah, Sepang and uh, Pasir Gudang, in, in Pasir Gudang yeah. in Indonesia, and in Pattaya, Thailand. Mm -hmm. yeah. First with production car, stock standard, second hand. And later he did his own supercar and RX-7 with minimum, minimum funding, all his own mm -hmm. and one mechanic. But his, his name and his car were legendary. I cannot emphasize enough what it's like to sell Lamborghinis in Malaysia. And Ron is the most successful Lamborghini salesperson in probably in Southeast Asia. Hopefully. Can, can, can you imagine the stories you can tell? Because the clientele, the people who buy these sort of cars is definitely not not like you and I who have to organize over buying something mundane. These people buy their supercars like you would buy a, a toy that you keep most of the year in cold storage and then you only use it once in a while if you actually drive it. But they buy it because Ron is so convincing. He has sold the most number of Lamborghinis in this country and he still continues to sell them. And he sells so many Lamborghinis to the same buyers they don't, they, don't, they don't only upgrade a chain, they keep and buy the next one and keep and buy a next series and keep. These are the sort of buyers that he communicates with. He's more than just a sales guy, he's a friend and a Mr. Go for editor, guy who can solve any problem. That's why his phone never stopped ringing or buzzing. Even on his way to Beijing, his phone will be ringing. He's getting himself a very special data coverage, phone and data coverage, because you just cannot be out of touch. So my one of my video will be this nice guy has know so many bad asses, <laughs> the movers and shakers of this country, the people who drive the economy, the people who build this country, and maybe some involved in some very sh sh shady deals. <laughs> shady deals. Ron knows them all, and all of them have his friends. I See, guess for friends. somebody who can sell the most number of Alfa Romeos in Southeast Asia, Ron can sell anything. It's seriously, yeah. yeah. There's one thing that I've we talked about. He can sell. If if he had not been so in crazy about cars, he'd probably be in real estate and he'd be a multi-billionaire and he'll be mm. owning all the cars that he loves. 
someone have to sell to him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but no regrets, right, John? You have had, you have been having such an amazing life. Yeah, I have a lot of fun. Yeah. I meet a lot of people, yeah. a lot of good people. That is really nice, actually. <laughs> When you rub shoulders, then you are so close with people who can shake the earth, shake the country, literally shake the country. That is something very special. And again, their respect and their friendship. That's why I say again, I'm so proud of my friend here. So down to earth. Nobody knows, very, very few people know of his achievement and his abilities and his nature. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that <laughs> silence. <laughs> what, a, what a great book Ron would be able to write. Yeah. Yeah.